Well, hello everyone. I was just thinking that I might just film a little bit so that I could say I started early. <laughs> it's late, really. I don't know how well this film will turn out. But anyway, I got some uh, yesterday, not, yeah, Saturday in the mail. I bought, uh, got that I had bought from Donna Little some appliques. Yay! More appliques. Ah, I don't think I need to buy any more wedding appliques, but I sure love them. And this was a, a group of it that she had for sale that was, uh, I think it was what she called the uh, trim on the bottom. And it was just different pieces and all different sizes. And I just happened to get on there and saw she still had it for sale. So I said, yep. Donna, I want that because I love this. You can cut it up and make different uh, pieces out of it. And I'll tea dye it, of course. But uh, there's just all kinds of different ones. I was looking for this one that's in there. Let's see. I love this kind, especially this. There's several pieces of this that uh, cut work. Anyway, but... I will be uh, dyeing them, and I was looking for something to put them on. Maybe they'll go a bit better, show better. Sometimes holding something up. I was going to put the camera down. See how pretty that is? Isn't that beautiful? And these, so pretty. And there are some that are smaller pieces, and some are larger. I wish I had a lid here. Hey, okay, let's see. This might work. Let's see. Oops. Have to knock something off. Anyway. Maybe that'll make it show better. I was looking at these lids the other day and I was thinking, oh, I think I'm going to do a little... Use some collage inside them. I, I think they're so pretty. Anyway, I was just looking at different things that of these pieces that uh, she had, and I'm real pleased over them. They're really pretty. They'll be perfect to cut up, use for all kinds of things. But oh, aren't they luscious? Luscious, luscious. They'll be so pretty once they're tea dyed, too. I, I'm really, I like white, and sometimes I use it, but I prefer the stained look. I, I usually dye most all my laces, and uh, even, even I may do some of these in colors, because I've been thinking about doing that, too. And, so... I finished up these, uh, well, I guess you'd say I finished them. I think I did these bottles. I added a little tool and little flower to the side and added that button on the top. So I thought that turned out real cute. Anyway, and then this one. I added uh, lace on the inside, which I thought that was real pretty. I kind of wish I'd done it on that other one, but I already glued the lid on it before I did it. But I added uh, a little uh, bouquet of uh, flowers and little lace. Those little flowers are those old, old flowers they used to use on hats. So I did that. Finished that up. Then I've been making some stick pins. Maybe they might show better with this box lid. Well, no, maybe not. <laughs> So, I, was, I had them on a real pretty kind of uh, dresser's car for Dolly or whatever down on the thing. And it was really pretty how I had them set up. But I couldn't turn the camera down. And I'll just show them like this. Love those beads. These are some of the beads. And, and I used to, mixed them with some of my other, the these, this colors are... And that one I already had, but that one I got at Tuesday morning. But they had some beautiful beads at Tuesday mornings. I was so glad when I looked on that bead shelf. 
but our big rack. Anyway, and their beads are not bad. And sometimes they have real pretty ones. Sometimes I'm not too pleased over them, but I thought these were really pretty. These some this bottom part I already had. But these stick pins one time, or hat pins, I got them at uh, Joann's. And uh, they were really, uh, I have got them when they were, had a real big, good sale on, like 40% off. And I bought several, several packages of them. I've even given them in some of my uh, giveaways. And then, let's see, these two I think I haven't showed. Uh, I thought this one turned out real pretty. I think the little green on top of it just made it. I have some real pretty beads. I think these I had already. I just and I have gobs of beads over here that are I was gonna bought to take apart and they're hanging so pretty until I always think ah oh, sometimes I like just looking at them. And then I think well I ought to get rid of some of them. But they're really pretty. Then I found uh, that this was uh, found it in some of my supplies. I don't looking for some beads the other day. I need, I mean, some stick pins. I need to make some more. And I had forgotten I had made this one. And uh, I made several. And I didn't have any pins. And so I read this thing where I think it was 22 gauge wire. It's a little stronger wire. Not sure. But anyway, I took and made a stick pin and I made a loop up on the top. And then I had a tool that, uh, it's uh, uh it, it'll straighten the wire real straight and even if it bends but this is perfect to go in like thin material you couldn't probably put it in a real heavy stick uh, pin cushion because it probably would bend but to put it in something like laces or even in a scrapbook or whatever you can use that but that's just an idea I'm sure y'all might some of y'all may have seen the video but it worked <laughs> then I found the stick pins and then I started doing these up and these are those uh, buttons that Alice gave me and uh, I just put them on those three inch hat pins or uh, cassage pins and I think they turned out real pretty they'll be pretty to use in like a lace book too you know just stick them in for because sometimes I hate to glue things down and, and make it permanent especially on something like this so pretty and here's another one I made several of them up and I was real pleased over that and let's see I made this uh, actually I bought this little uh, oh, dress for him at the Goodwill it was just made out of wire and I dressed it up so this is a little flower that Olivia gave me it just went real pretty up on top and I'm going to put some pink uh, material underneath to give it a little bit you know where it's not where it'll look better and so you can't see that wire but I needed to go back to the other room to get uh oh I need to go back to the other room to get the uh, Pink material, I couldn't, I didn't have it up here, so I, I just hadn't made it yet. Make a little skirt to go under is what I'm trying to say. And that was that real pretty uh, package that Olivia gave me, and she gave me both of these cards, these, uh, that's actually a playing card, but oh, I'd love to have that deck of cards. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? Then that one, she still, uh, I don't know where she got that, maybe she printed it off, I don't know, but I love that look. I just thought those were so cute. This is a little picture holder. And I buy these little picture holders sometime and use them and, and clip these off and use them on something else because you can put them on other things like spools or whatever. And let's see, what else have I done? I found this flower that I had made a while back. I don't think I've ever showed it, but it's just, it was made out of some, uh, I think this was an old, curtain or something and oh my goodness it just it it was real shabby so I thought it turned out pretty but I haven't finished 
I, when I, I don't know why I probably stuck it back. I was going to add some more laces and maybe some pearls. And then I'll use it on a journal or on a collage or something or other. This It's got that vintage look. And let's see. What else have I been doing here? I bought some... Uh, I bought some trays or TV tray type things. They're uh, they're more of the modern day. With the, they're actually a tray that sits on something, and I painted those last week and got those. And I've got them sitting beside my. Uh, you can kind of see an extension, so I have more room to work on my desk when I'm playing, because I can get stuff out and put it up. How oh, this last week I put everything up, but. Didn't take me long to get it back out. I got the glue gun on here. I need to turn it off. I thought I turned it off. I saw the light on it. And let's see this. Uh, I was going to show y'all why I wanted to do the red, white, and blue. I bought this from a lady. And she had a, uh, she's got a shop over in the town I go in. And, and she made this, it's real pretty. That's something that you might think about sometimes. She just threaded this beads, uh, and it's that elastic thread. And I even, I was going to pick up some of that elastic thread the other day when I was over in Bryan because I want to use that when I'm putting my signatures in. I think that turns out real pretty, but she did this did this so pretty. I think it's so pretty. But that's what she holds this uh, journal together with. And it was just full of goodies, y'all. Oh, my goodness, if I took time to show it, it would take me uh, a good 15 minutes or more. It is full. And this is what really got me wanting to make... Um, this little hat she made out of newspaper. Isn't that cute? Ah, Yankee Doodle Dandy. Anyway, I thought that would be cute to make out of a book page. I'm the one that I'm going to do is going to have the hardback, but I thought I have made a uh, few books or few journals out of the paper sack. This is actually made out of paper sacks. It is just full of treasures, and some of them are very very vintage so I was real happy when she said that she would sell it to me I, she 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 was going to have a kind of I really was hoping she would do this but I checked with her not oh it's a few months ago but anyway she was going to have kind of like uh, do these as a art together you know and make scrapbooks and I told her if she did I wanted to be a part of it but I don't think she's ever done it she's real busy with her shop we have some real cute shops in but you know like everything you go to them a few times if they haven't changed a bunch of stuff well then you don't go back and her stuff is really pretty uh oh flip that over I'll have to do it later so all right, well, I guess I'll have a lot to do. Got a lot to do next week. I want to think about, I got want to go to town. Got to go uh, to Brian, too. Can I show the tags? Hmm, I did a video a while ago, and I didn't like it. I don't think I showed these that I'm making. I started these today. Well, actually, I started them yesterday, but I'm kind of working on them. I haven't finished them, but... I'm doing something different with these. I'm kind of trying to make them more uh, three-dimensional. You know, like, you know, they stand up a little bit. They're, they're, they're working out. I'm still going to put some glue and have this beautiful laces to trim it with. And uh, make it a little bit more shabby or uh, tattered and torn. And even, uh, I thought about putting some tool with some of these, too. Uh, I've seen it where it kind of overlays. Now, this has not got quite enough color, but if I've got the right tool, maybe it might look real pretty. You kind of fix it like a little curtain or whatever. All right, well, y'all stay extra safe in Jesus, and I will be back and see you later. Bye-bye.